What's up everybody, Night Batman here and uh, I just came back from a long hiatus. Uh, sorry I haven't been doing any videos lately just because I haven't really been motivated after I got two count, uh, copyright strikes from YouTube because of uh, my two Godzilla videos so I'm gonna try and be really careful with those and also I've just been really tired from work and gym so um, just haven't had the energy but I actually just wanted to do this quick unboxing because there's not much unboxing for this special product and I really wanted to share with you guys, give you some thoughts and also um, you know, do a little review on it and I hope you guys enjoy it and maybe persuade you into getting it because I have been looking forward to this since I saw it on Amazon and I can't wait to unbox it for you guys so without further ado let's just get right to the unboxing. Alright so what I ordered so happy it came in it is the man of steel blu-ray but it's also just get this out of here it's actually the limited edition figurine edition or man of steel figurine limited edition gift set and the reason i'm actually doing this oh you can actually see me hey what's up guys um the reason I, like I said on doing this is because not many videos are out there showcasing this. You mainly see videos of people with that special edition that's just the S symbol and you know you open it up and it has all the discs inside but this one actually has the standard edition cover with the two um, figurines in it, Superman and General Zod and I gotta tell you guys it looks so great in person. Um, I honestly don't even want to open it up because the packaging just looks so good. Um, but yeah, these are the side views, the back, you know, pretty much showing what you can see in the packaging. Really like this shot. Um, General Zod, and then bottom right there, pretty much blank, but yeah. So let's also get down to opening it up. I already opened these two just to you know kind of speed it on speed it along a little more. So here's the top view and just get this out of the way or well let me just pull out first the Blu-ray. Um, one thing about me and collector's editions I only get it if it comes in the standard um, casing and what I like is how see you do get the standard edition you get the blu-ray dvd and digital hd but of course you know just want to get the blu-ray so taking out the slip cover um pretty much the same as it looks from the slip cover um here's the back um pretty much saying all the features sorry it's not so clear thanks camera um it's a very simple casing and slip cover this one is um I don't know the, word, the term for it, but you can feel the, the letters out there and even the, the picture for Superman, it's um, pretty um, textured. Now onto the main reason you guys are probably watching this and also why I highly suggest you get this. Start off on the General Zod figurine. Be really careful. Now, oops, set that. Here is General Zod. Hmm, comes out really easy. So here's General Zod. You can see him standing on his crest. The crest has some really good detail on it, really good texture. I'll just show it here. Really sorry guys for the dogs barking in my brother's house. I don't know why they went crazy. But just giving you like a little 360 on General Zod. And let me tell you that the detail on this is really really great I mean um, you can't see on camera I mean it looks so much better in person even like getting close into the area here you can see all the little details it's it's just so cool to see how much effort was when how much effort went into this and you know the likeness is pretty good to uh, Michael Shannon I'm glad that they didn't um, focus on him without the armor because it would have been a little too simple and he really does look badass in you know this collectible so just gonna set him to the side off camera and to the probably my my opinion the crown jewel of this collection 
It is the Man of Steel himself, Superman. Let's see, does it come out easily? And I got him out. Uh, it took me a couple minutes. I kid you not, really did take a couple minutes, but uh, I was glad to see that they really worked hard to secure him. So here's Superman standing on the House of L crest. Um, again, the, the crest, it has its own texture. Um, I really wish you guys could see it, but this camera, it's just, you know, quality's not so good. So I'll just try and shine it on the light so that you can see the texture and what it looks like. The yellow area is all smooth. And to give you a full 360 on Superman, what I like is how, even though it's made of uh, hard plastic, the whole figurine itself, the the texture of the, the cape makes it actually look like a cape, which is cool, so it doesn't look too stiff. And continuing on with the 360, the suit um, looks great. It looks just like it does in the movie. It looks spot on. The Again, even like the texture on his suit, it's not fully... Um, it's not like maybe rendered is the word you would use. It's not fully rendered. But you can still see that they tried to give it the feeling like it it does have its own texture. It's just that it would have been a little too much maybe if they actually went all, like, all out with that. But for what it is, it's pretty good. Um, the face sculpt for Superman looks pretty much like Henry Cavill. Especially the hair area. I really like how it follows his hair perfectly. This is just a really cool figurine. And next to the General Zod figure. Oh, no, that looks better. So they actually look great. Um, if they were to just stand side by side or just facing you, they look like great things to put on the shelf, desk, wherever you would like. And definitely the main reason I suggest you get the Blu ray if you want just a standard edition, but also get something extra with it and you're definitely gonna get um, your money's worth for these two figurines that is of course if you like figurines guys so um, Man of Steel I gave a review on that if I recall correctly might have been a 9 out of 10 but either way I just love that movie and I can't wait for the sequel just as happy as I am to see Batman and Superman on screen together it just kind of bites that it you know Superman is I mean it's a Superman movie, but he isn't exactly getting his... It's, he's not going to get full attention because everyone's going to see it for Batman. And, you know, me being a Batman fan for sure. But, you know, was just hoping to maybe get a uh, reboot movie with Ben Affleck first to actually warm up to him being Batman first. But I guess this will have to do. And they just want to speed along, speed up a Justice League movie. So that's it you guys thank you so much for staying with me on the whole video um i hope you liked it i hoped it even well persuaded you into getting this set i really can't wait to watch this but right now i'm gonna go out with some friends and um try and have some fun but definitely gonna be watching this over the weekend if you guys uh like the review or unboxing please feel free to say what you liked or dislike again you know what to do have a great day and thank you so much again for watching. You guys stay awesome. Later.